Hi fellow birdies and welcome back to another edition of Songbirds Eating Show. In today's video I'm going to be doing another what I eat in a day for you guys. This is a video dedicated to showing you what I would eat in a day if I wasn't filming a mukbang or an ASMR video. So you guys ready to see what I'll eat today? Let's go ahead and get started with breakfast. So for breakfast this morning I was thinking about enjoying some of this Raisin Bran cereal. Now this is from a store called Publix and I got this box of cereal on my recent trip to Alabama and I hadn't had this cereal in ages guys so I grabbed it up. We don't have a Publix in Memphis yet but I do hope that they build one Sunday. Alright guys I'm now back with breakfast as you can see but got this big bowl of raisin bran and milk and that's what it looks like. So let's try it. It's definitely not as sweet as some of the other raisin brands I used to have. I, I used to have raisin bran quite a bit when I was an older teenager and an adult. In fact, it was actually one of my own um, pregnancy cravings too that I had. Um, I would eat like a big bowl of raisin bran cereal and stuff. I do kind of miss the sweetness, but honestly, I'm kind of glad that this cereal isn't as sweet as um, some of the other raisin brands that I've had. It's kind of a, a difference and you know not everything has to be sweet, right? And it's got some raisins in there with it. So this is not, this is definitely not a bad cereal. I just wish there was like a tad more sweetness, but it's very filling, very good. The wheat flakes taste great. Although I'm imagining an idea with these now that I might try next time. But I actually might just try it with a, a cereal period because um, I found these like recipes for cool milk and cereal bars. So yeah, if you're looking for a raisin bran cereal that's not too sweet. Um, but still got like a tinge of sweetness and it's very filling, very healthy, very good for you, then I would recommend going to Publix and grabbing it. So that's where you got a Publix in the area. I want them to build a Publix in Memphis. Publix, you owe us a store. So get a store here and I'll gladly shop out a lot. All right guys, it's now lunch time and I think for lunch I'm going to be trying these Sampyeon. It's actually my favorite Korean food. And what it is basically is these rice cakes filled with sesame. I have been having these things for a couple years now. Um, I first discovered these during 2020 um, at my local farmer's market. And they have two different kinds. There's also one with um, this white paste stuff in it. But this is my favorite one. So um, what you gotta do to cook these is steam them for about 25 minutes and they're done so let's go ahead and make them all right guys here they are now i steamed them for about 25 minutes and i will admit that they're very sticky especially once they cool off this is what the inside looks like you can see the sesame so cheers that was good this is my favorite Korean food. Flat out. The thing I like about these is they have the subtle nutty sweetness, but it's really chewy, as you can see. And I was watching videos of how to cook these, and they cook them uh, on pine needles a, a lot of times. That's kind of cool. But, um,. The outside is actually made from um, rami leaves. I think that's how you say it, rami. But these are called sampion. Still do like leaf-shaped rice cakes. Really good, really delicious. And they got a lot of health benefits too, as I was reading as well. But they're really fun to eat. So if you guys got like 
an international market in your area you need to try to get these and find these all right guys it's about dinner time now and for dinner tonight i'm going to be having a turkey burger with cheese and ketchup and pickles i just want to use some up of the leftover ground turkey that we had in the freezer and i'm also going to be eating some of my favorite harvest cheddar sun chips i remember Back when I was a teenager and a young adult, I ate these a lot, especially this flavor. I also had the garden salsa and the French onion. The original one was probably my second favorite, but this is my most favorite sun chip flavor. All right, guys, I'm now back with my turkey cheeseburger and sun chips. So first thing I want to do, of course, is trap my sun chips because hey, I love this so much. Nice and cheesy. Really, really good. It kind of does remind me of the nacho cheese Doritos that we eat sometimes too, but these are a lot better. Mmm. It's got that pleasant, cheesy flavor, not overpowering. And look at the shape. It's so wavy. <laughs> so these are good. They have released um, a couple of other flavors since I started eating them a few years ago. They have like, I think, what was a sweet potato or something other? I forget what it is now. Um, I think they also have like a chili lime flavor. I don't know. I have to look it up. Let's try this cheeseburger in a Big bun. Mmm. I'm definitely a big fan of ground turkey and turkey burgers in general. I like to taste more than regular ground beef. Plus, I've noticed, um, of course, you got grocery prices and stuff going up these days now. For some reason, Ground turkey is cheaper than ground beef, so. And the cheese adds really good flavor too. Mm. Try some of this iced chocolate coffee. Mm. That was really good. I actually made this at home using some of the um, Con concentrated coffee I had in the refrigerator. It kind of has like a chocolate, bitter dark chocolate taste to it. I added some um, collagen protein powder to it. It was a chocolate one. And you can add like protein powder to coffee too, so. But yeah, this is really dark chocolate. So, you know, that's all right. But I think the winner of this meal is definitely these guys. Anyway, guys, that's all the time we have for today's What I Eat in a Day video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll definitely be doing many more to come. And also, be sure to click the red button down below to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell to receive notifications, and I'll see you in the next video. This is Crystal signing out. Bye, birdies.